All right, special video. What's in my click and X? What I call Raven bag. Okay, so yesterday I had a little incident and I had to use a tourniquet. I'm gonna get into the tourniquet in a second. This is, I have to make a new tourniquet. But that brought to the issue of what's in my Raven bag. Okay, this is a bag that I have in the car at all time. So if I have an emergency, I go through it. So I'm just gonna open it and go item by item. I'm gonna put this is a tube of a bicycle. I'm gonna get that at the end of the video. But here we go, let's start with this pouch right here. The pouch right here, first thing is an actual tourniquet. An actual tourniquet. Again, I'll get back to the tube at the end of the video. An actual tourniquet. I have what is called an Israeli bandage. I'm not gonna explain the whole thing about it, but this is an IDF Israeli bandage right there. Napkins that can be used for, you know, wipe your ass and shit and anything else. A little bag, a Ziploc bag with wet bandages, small ones, wet bandages, bigger one, actual ga uh, uh, gauze, gauze, what the fuck you call this in English, and the tape, okay? Then I have a tube, an empty tube. If I have to take any sample in the field, I put it in the tube so I have it with me. A survival knife right here. Let me get it out on a second. A survival knife, salt water knife. It is a spider core. This is also a lot of times when I go diving, I actually dive with that, free diving. So that's that. What else we have here? I'm in Florida, so always uh, sunscreen. So that's what's in that pouch. Okay, let me put that, everything back in that pouch. I'll organize it later better. Again, that's that pouch. Okay, let's go to the small. The small other little pouches. This one here. Flashlight, flashlight, and a hat that is also a flashlight. A hat that is all a flashlight. If I'm if I'm at night and I need something, I need to fix a tire, I have an emergency, I put that on my fucking hat, I push the fucking button, and here I have vision for the night. So that's the flashlight little pouch with the actual flashlight as well. On this side right here, there's a little pouch. All there is in here is a bar, a protein bar, so I have enough protein for the night if I get stuck in the truck or something in there. And caffeine, motherfuckers. Caffeine, motherfuckers. All right, clean caffeine. Okay, so that's in that little pouch. Let's continue. From here, from here. Open this big pouch. All the way across. One, two. All right, so watch here. A jar of peanut butter. A jar of peanut butter, just in case I need fucking peanut butter. Fresh water, fresh water, 18 ounces, whatever the fuck you call it, of fresh water, okay? There was an incident a few months ago where people got stuck on a highway and they didn't have fucking water for overnight. Always have water. A pair of dry, in a Ziploc bag, pants. Gray tactical pants, that means gray man tactical pants. A shirt, in a Ziploc bag, dry shirt. Dry shirt, in a Ziploc bag, also gray. Believe it or not, a pair of underwear, dry underwear, and a pair of socks, right there. A pair of running shoes, running shoes, just in case. I'm in Florida all the time, sometimes I wear flip-flops, so running shoes in there. From here, a hat, a hat, a hat, just a hat, and watch here. I always say to people when they have the bag, the three most essential things they should have. Power cord, power cord. duct tape and zip ties. Okay, that to me is to have is the three first items that should be in your bag, survival bag, bag out bag, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay, let's go to the last pouch, which is the rear pouch. Here we go. A knife. And of course, if I'm gonna have a knife, it's gonna be one of my knives. This is an Orev Stealth Model Gen 1. Orev Stealth Model Gen 1. It is a fucking beast of a knife. A knife. 
a tactical baton, just in case I gotta fuck up somebody. A open brake glass thing if I gotta get into a car. A pair of pliers and an all-purpose scissor. I mean, this is a beast. This is a beast right here. All right. So that's what in my Raven bag. Okay. Let's talk about yesterday. I had an incident where I had to put a tunica on somebody and for many, many, many years I had an, what is called an Israeli tunicate, steel tunicate in my bag. But yesterday I used it, so today I had to go to the store and buy a tube of a bicycle. Tube of a bicycle, you take this tube of a bicycle, I'm about to cut it, cut it here and cut each side. So out of this tube I'm going to actually get two tunicates. Two tunicates, and then I'm gonna roll them up and put a little, uh, I said that, uh, elastic band, and I'll have, opa, and I'll have two tunicates out of it. This is an Israeli field tunicate. We use the uh, inside tubes of bicycle tires because it's fast, easy, and super simple. All right, that's why it, what's in Mike the Canary's Raven bag.